or Kenshin 1913 along with Sakuramiko 16 or Vicky and this is another cooking with Kenshin 1913 what are we going to be making today we're going to brulee some peeps oh yeah okay so to brulee peeps you obviously need peeps any peeps will do we yeah. have some <laughs> chickens yeah if you let me just explain if you have let's say for some reason you have them left over from Easter and you still haven't finished them off this is an excellent way to do it yes do it. so we need some sticks or these I believe are coffee stirs yeah water to dip the stick in so they don't get lit on fire uh -huh. a culinary torch or uh -huh. a gas fire stove yeah now uh, we just want to uh, I just want to highly highly uh, recommend that you do this if uh, you know be very careful with it we're gonna be doing we're gonna be uh, lighting some stuff on fire of course and uh, you gotta be very very careful with that so yes. let's uh, get started Okay, so we've opened our peeps. I'm going to take our stick and dip it in the water. Yeah. Make sure you tap it to get all the water off if yeah. you can. Yeah. So, so, yeah, you want you want to do this because you do not want to get your uh, peep or your stick lit on fire. Now, you see what my sister's doing here? She's sticking it right through the gullet right in the front there. Yeah. You can either do it that way or you can stick it through the side if you're making multiple peeps. So let's show you how to do it on the uh, on the old gas on the old gas thing here. Now you want to be very careful when turn you turn on it on. Turn on your gas. Yeah. Now I'm going to show you how to do it brulee style. I mean, they, these are both brulee style, but I'm going to show you with the culinary torch because I use it to make my own creme brulee. It's delicious. So when you get it nice and crunchy on one side, you got to give it the old blow and then turn it and apologize to the peeps and the peep god that you are. You are destroying it. Well, you're not really, because what's going to happen here is, unlike any other episode, we're just going to chow down as soon as we make them, because if you let them cool off too long, they're not as good. And as you can see, what kind of technique are you using here? Just trying to get all the sides. Now, how far? Are you careful. sure you want to keep the thing this close? Yeah, because I like to set, just like I like my marshmallows, I like to set it on fire. Yeah. Right, now, you don't have wants. to do that if you don't want and once again, be very careful with uh, with the peep. I'm not sure I'll be able to get the front. The yeah, side. yeah, yeah. It's hard with Sticking this. Sticking it through the side, I think, would be a better technique if you want to brown all the edges. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna get that side there. But yeah, um, I've been doing this. Well, not what she's doing, but I've been doing this for about uh, oh. two, two, three years now. Because uh, what ends up happening is for Easter, my mom always buys us some peeps. You know, we eat them once a year. And I usually eat one or two, you know. And I'm like, ugh, I can't stand this anymore. So what I like to do, I think that's okay, enough. Okay, I think that's done. Yeah, so just got to blow on it and then take a bite. Okay, I'm going to turn off the heat first. Yeah. But uh, the thing is, I never really like, I mean, I like peeps, but after a while, they're just, you know, they're not that good. Like, And you need to figure out a new way to do it. And uh, I was like, you know what, one day I'm just going to, you know, it's got sugar on it and you can just friggin, uh, you can just uh, really? light it on fire like creme brulee. And then the sugar caramelizes. And the marshmallow, so the warm marshmallow is yeah. really tasty. Yeah. I'm just letting mine cool because it should be, it should be, gonna be very hot. Listen, it should be ready. It should be ready? Yeah, come okay, on. Okay, I'm going to take a bite. I don't know if you heard Ooh. that crunch. Boom. The blue egg roasted marshmallows is really good. Yeah, this is almost like a s'more. This is almost like a, uh, a, a throwback. See how melted it is inside? Yeah. It's almost like a throwback to my first episode of s'mores. Anyways, now let's, uh, let's show how to do it with the, the, uh, <clears throat> culinary torch. Alright, we're gonna show you how to do it with the, uh, brulee torch here. The, uh, <clears throat> the culinary torch. First thing you wanna do, once again, is dip your stick in water. Just like the people do in those animes, they, they pour buckets of water on them before they run into a fire. You just want to make sure to get all the moisture off. See what I'm doing? I hope you've seen what I'm doing. Alright, so what you want to do is take it, and I'm going to do it just the way my sister did, and stick it right in the center right there. Now you want to be very careful and use your torch. Alright? Come on. There we go. 
And now what you do is you just go back and forth with it. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Just give it a blow after you're done. And you just go back and forth and you cool it down. And you cool it down. And you just you gotta be very careful not to get it too hot. Now that should be pretty much done right there. I don't know if you can see it very well. But look at that, huh? And you just gotta let it get I'm gonna get in the hey how's it going? So we're gonna give it a try. It is still pretty hot, so you gotta be careful. I don't know if you heard that crunch there. But there's definitely a better way to do peeps due to the fact that um due to the fact that you know it gives it a crunchier texture on the outside, makes the marshmallow nice and warm on the inside, and uh it's just delicious. It's really it just gives it a different texture and it's better than just eat you feel like you're not eating this sugary, sugary marshmallow thing. Almost like a uh, decadent dessert. And as you can see, here's our brulee peep. Yeah. Yummy and crunchy and delicious. And sugary, but not so sugary. So, mmm. This is good. I enjoy it. But you could probably make s'mores with these. It'd be yeah. delicious. So this has been Pete. We're coming to 1913. And Sakramito, 16. Or Vic. And we will see you in the next Cooking with Kenshin 1913. Enjoy and happy eating. Thanks, Ma.